Hello and welcome back to uh, the new guy for Randy Peck taking his dear sweet time playing um, Timbahai's Elf Centauri. And my god, I realise I'm, I'm on the two by second video now of this one turn, mission year 2312. Probably because I was spending a bit too much time talking and not enough time playing. Um, I don't know, I don't know what the demand is. Um, what, what I could do is if I, wanted to, if I wanted to sort of really plough through, I could just sort of keep quiet and just focus uh, entirely on uh, on gameplay. But I thought, well, no, there's, there's not much fun in that. I, I don't know about you, but when I'm watching videos on YouTube, I generally like there to be somebody else, uh, somebody talking. I don't know, maybe, maybe it sort of chases away the loneliness. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I realise I'd just like to... Um, Make clear that was joking there, um, or was I? You can you can automate, and you. And uh, I just thought of something I'd, I'd want to talk. Oh yeah, I was talking about a little bit uh, today of how I managed to get into um, Alpha Centauri, and it was almost entirely by chance. Um, when, when, when I was younger. Um, in the more formative years, I must have been about 10, 11, 12, 11 or 12. And uh, as, a, as a small child, I was, um, well, I wouldn't be that small when I was 11. As a child, I was quite interested in uh, computer games. I was always I was always more of a strategy man. Uh, you can, uh, you can collect some food from somewhere. Now I was never, uh, I was never one for a console. I, um, I had a master system. There was, uh, because I played a few um, Sonic games on them and some other games that were really quite poor. We haven't had, even had an early, early sort of version of FIFA. Which I don't know why, because I don't like sports games, and my brother doesn't particularly like sports games. But neither does like sports, really. Well, he doesn't like. My brother doesn't mind watching sports, but neither does like playing sports, and we're not we're a bit big sports fans. So why we had an early rendition of FIFA? Beyond me. Um. Realised, but not got the time of running. So it's complete guesswork whether this is 15 minutes or not. That's what I'm trying to try to aim for, rather than big, long, sweeping videos that could go on for hours, because that might not be what you want, or it could be. I don't know. So we never, we, we, we never had much in the way of consoles. We had a PlayStation as well, uh, which had some quite fun games for, like, uh, uh, what did I have? Um, the only game I can remember having for it is oh, uh, Abe's Odyssey and Abe's Exodus. They were always good fun. Uh, Rayman. Um, what else was there? Uh, Buster Move, a little, little sort of puzzle bobble type game. I think I had GTA and GTA Two, which um, I don't know why. Uh, you, um, on the prototype, silk steel. Uh, I'm just trying to think now. I had quite a few games for it, but I was never much of a console man. I spent my formative years playing strategy games, so I never developed the console skills. So when the time came when consoles really came into into their own, um. Like with the, the Xbox and the, uh, the PlayStation 3. I mean, games like uh, Call of Duty, um, Medal of Honor, and things like that came out. I was never very good because I never developed the console skills. And when I played multiplayer on them with a friend's, uh, where we were living with housemates last year, I died frustratingly quickly. Uh, frustrating? <laughs> I think I did the 
wrong thing there and go to the Conqueror. So I discovered um, Civilization games when I was really young. Um, so we, when it was six, seven, we were playing uh, Civilization, the original one. Uh, Civilization 2, I remember from about being about 10 or 11 again onwards. And I played all the Stranded Strategy games, uh, Age of Empires 2, never played, never played Age of Empires 1. Um, uh, no, what else did I play? So many games, and they've all just sort of left my mind. But I did enjoy going around to Electronic Boutique and uh, Game, later Game Station, looking for games. And it's, a, it's a trying shame that as a, as a genre, computer games are going out of fashion. I think it's to do with how easily they can be pirated versus um, console games that can't be pirated very easily at all, uh, so I'm told. <laughs> nice little, uh, a nice little sort of um, disclaimer there. But you go into these these uh, shops now, um, they just don't have them. And we found, actually found, uh, Sid Meier's Elf Centauri um, on the shelf. And it was about about 20 quid, I think. And I thought, oh, that was quite good. And then we managed to find uh, the, expan the, the what I believe it's called, the planetary pack, which was uh, both of them put together for about £10 in a bargain bucket somewhere. So I found that, and I had never looked back. I really enjoyed playing them as a child, even though I didn't properly fully understand the storyline, or the, uh, what it all meant. Because it's got an excellent storyline, but I just never picked up on it. I never, I never had the patience to play it through to the end, I don't think. These odds aren't great. I used to, I used to sort of cheat my way through a lot of the tech trees, or just not build up the empire, empires properly. Um, and all these games were a bit, they were just a bit too advanced for me. I think I never took um, full advantage of them. But I, I, I was vaguely aware of transcendence. The, the, the word itself meant little to me, uh, and the storyline meant little to me. But I did achieve it once. And I thought, well, that's that's cool. I've won the game. I never went beyond that, and a lot, a lot of the sort of the storyline just completely escaped me, uh, which was a bit of a shame. But uh, to say that my my sort of uh, my gaming career is, has always revolved around uh, strategy games. Later, I got um, I never actually bought Age of Empires two. I borrow, I borrowed the original, then got the expansion pack. Um, the Conqueror's expansion, and uh, I just just played that. Uh, I got Rise of Nations when that came out, which is why I sort of did an LP of it, and I got really into that, and then really into it again when I went to university because I was some nerdy housemates. Uh, what else to do? I quite like the uh, city building or city building games. I like the sim games. I like the idea that you can play a game and it has no end point to it. You can um, you set your own goals and do that. I was quite a big fan of The Sims. I do like The Sims from a demographic point of view, and it's perhaps the only game out there, the only game genre out there that has more female players than male. Um, I feel quite socially progressive in playing it. <laughs> it's like la lazy social progression. Uh, it's like, I don't, I don't need to support any sort of uh, feminist movements. I play The Sims. <laughs> I liked I liked SimCity. I had the original SimCity. And then we had to trade it in because I didn't like how the advisors shouted at you. Uh, as weird as a child. But they did. They were ever so rude. So I sold, sold that in. You had little videos coming up saying, got no, not the power and it's all your fault. You're a terrible man. And I was like, ah. They've got uh, SimCity 2000, SimCity 3000, the UK edition, um, which I've gone, I've, I've rediscovered, and it's all, it's all good fun. Uh, then SimCity 4, which I found was a bit, just a bit too easy. Uh, it wasn't, wasn't particularly satisfying. And you're not a bomber. Hmm. 
That's what I want, a bit of air superiority. I also enjoyed, and this is probably a, a bit of a, a bit of a niche, especially sort of for the Java ones, but the ancient city building series. Um, games like uh, Pharaoh and Caesar Three. Never got any of the other Caesar ones or Zeus and Poseidon. I didn't find discover that until much later. At which point it, it didn't have any any of the nostalgic charm, which I look for in older games that make them bearable. I suppose. Um, actually, that's, that's that's wrong. I was never one. I was never big into graphics. I was I, I was more about the gameplay, which is why I don't mind playing games like um, of Centauri. I mean, look at the graphics. They they leave a lot to be desired, but the storyline is great and the game mechanics fantastic. Uh, true, there's some areas where they could be improved, such as form or automating intelligence. But um, the game. I look far more into the gameplay and perhaps a little bit into the storyline. And the graphics, the graphics mean very little to me. I guess there is, it's easier on the eye, and it's easy to get immersed into a game if you've got um, better graphics, but it's not essential. So I, I was very big into the, the um, ancient city building series, uh, such as uh, Caesar 3 and Pharaoh. Caesar 3, the one critical flaw in that is you couldn't build roadblocks, so your, your wanderers just went everywhere and like the people from the market and the bazaars who were distributing goods we just walk all over the place and it was chaotic uh, emperor rise of the middle kingdom that was that was quite good it was a bit too bit too regimented i think there was there was a, a way it was a bit it's a bit too easy to control because uh, in pharaoh you were able to you had to build your industry near housing and the industry sent out walkers to look for employees and they found them and brought them back to the industry. Uh, you didn't have to do that in Emperor, you just built the industry and they found employees automatically. So you could have industrial sectors really far away from the uh, residential sectors and you could organise everything far too easily. So that took a bit of the charm out of it. Uh, also you could delineate from the start where, would, where your posh housing was going to be, so to speak and where your uh, common housing would be. Whereas in uh, Pharaoh, that kind of evolved uh, naturally. See, so you're never entirely sure. But God, these turns just go on for forever. No wonder people don't tend not to see it through to the end game and get bored with these kind of things. You... I don't know what you want to do. That's a farm, isn't it? But it's a uh, skill I never realised in, in talking about something that's not associated with what you're doing at the moment. And it's one that I've, I've yet to hone. So that's, that's like a, a, a brief and very, very patchy history of uh, how I got... In fact, I never really answered the question of how I got into Elvis and Tori, really. But it's a brief look into my sort of gaming history and how I came to start playing games, I guess. Ooh. Uh, yeah, why not? Fusion Planet Busters. Can't stand them. Yeah, the, the governor in this game, the governors in this game could probably be a bit better as well. I do like how later Civ games actually actually improve on that. Whatever. Anyway, um, I'm going to uh, leave this here. I think. I'm guessing we're at five minutes. I don't know how long it was until I turned the timer on. It's currently set says 12 minutes but I know there's been a couple of minutes where I didn't turn the timer on so I'm going to leave that there and um, next time I'll probably ramble on about something else while I desperately try to fill in the empty air time with something anything um, so I'll see you again uh, next time in which I'll talk about I don't know probably 
potential LPs of the future. I don't know, I'm going to stop regimenting these and I'll just talk about whatever comes to mind, I think. Unless you've got suggestions, in which case, first of all, suggest what games you would like me to play, or anything you'd like me to talk about, any sort of burning issues that you would like my take on them, as a, with all the authority that I can give as a player of games. Um, I'm very interested to uh, see what everybody makes of everything, everywhere, at all times. And I will see you next time on uh, the Planet Cult Conquer the World, which I don't think I'm going to use as a title for this Let's Play series. See you next time.